What's up Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another episode of our Abbasid campaign for 1212 AD and in the last episode we did crush a brutal civil war um, which took Baghdad and did basically rip our empire in two momentarily but we have reunited it, we are rebuilding our armies and we are getting ready to strike against Aleppo again. Uh, Aleppo does seem to have a few of its own problems, it's got its own civil war going on which is uh, excellent for us, it means that they are distracted and, I mean, they don't even have any armies, they just have garrisons which are pretty weak. So, uh, we should be able to deal with them. We can now see the commune of Milan, apparently. I imagine they hate us and would never want to trade. Yeah, I'm not surprised, so that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. These guys I can now see. Um, I'm going to trade, I'm going to just start doing non-aggressions. I actually probably should, it's a high, so we should probably uh, actually get some money out of them. So we can redo build some stuff. It's low. They, they said their economy was strong, or very strong. It's not that strong. Um, okay, let's just demand a bit more. Maybe the same. Nope, too much. Okay, let's just make it 700. There we go. No, I'll just leave it like that for now. I'll get some more money out of you another time. So, I mean, we can't get much stuff, but we can probably uh, recruit some more troops from... Maybe from here. Let's get some more spears on the go. Yeah, get some more spears. There we go. So I'll end the turn and we will see what happens. Oh, we've got to do a governor thing first. Um, Yeah, put settled tribes in. Okay, so there we go. So I hope you guys are all doing well and are uh, staying safe in these, uh, in these interesting times. And I hope you're going to enjoy this episode. Keep you entertained while we're all locked down. Um... I know I'm enjoying doing this Let's Play, so I'd appreciate if you keep up the support with your likes, subscribes, and comments. I'd like to appreciate, uh, thank you, not appreciate, well I do appreciate the support, because we've now got to 1300, uh, and I just would like to thank you all for uh, getting us that milestone, really appreciate it. I guess let's work for 1400, let's see how close we can get to that by the end of the month. Uh, re really good if we can keep up the support, keep growing, um, just getting the channel more and more uh, I guess get it bigger and more aware and stuff like that. It was doing great. As uh, it looks like the Trebizond is sending a, a force into our territory. So we might have to destroy that army at some point. We may have another battle on our hands here. But I need to have armies that stop going to stop starving first. Um, no, I'm not going to go to war with Mercuria just for two grand. Really, I'd like to make peace with some other people. Especially Trebizond. Oh yes, in the uh, I forgot the Mongols are at war with us. Or we're at war with the Mongols. We did declare war on them. So I'll just take them out in a moment. Uh, it looks like the Ubids are having a tough time of their own. Yep, they're all over the place actually. They're in Syria as well. Wow. Along with being in Arabia. Yeah, so here we go. So duty calls. Uh, Masood, we could certainly get you in charge. Uh, Bane of Christendom. Patron, uh, I'd rather not. Maybe Ryder or Melee. Let's go Melee. Uh... Natural causes. Uh, you've died. Oh, it's a shame. And consumption is not doing so well. It's certainly hurting us. There we go. We will start to siege this place down. Uh, let's do that. Excellent, right. This is not a happy place, but if I put that to there, then that will certainly help for now. Merv, not a happy place, like I said. We'll put a and a field. So there we go. So it's minus uh, 75. I could make it a, fa a faction. A faction. I could make it a faction. I could make it a vassal if I wanted to, but I'd rather not. Um, you've upgraded. So let's make you like so. Let's get you plus three public order and spread. Oh, actually, no, I don't want. Oh, I've just already done it. Anyway, you've done your stuff, I guess. Upgrade you a bit. Um, this place is getting fairly happy now. I'd like to pull this army out. And try and save it from being just murdered from goddamn disease. But I don't know if it will. Just have to leave it for now. It, keep it safe in the city. I'll give you a conical helm, I guess. You, Swords of Islam, I guess I could could move up to here. Yeah, let's do that. If I move you to there, that garrison's not atrocious. You might be able to beat this army. And it's a pretty low integrity army. I'd also like to really bring back one of these armies from the east. 
especially when we've uh, freed up against the Mongols. I'm pretty sure this is the Mongols' last territory. No, they hold a uh, gench up here as well, and that's it. So we've got another city to take after this in the north, which is probably where their armies are. But um, we can certainly deal with them very soon, I'm sure, as well. That one, I don't actually know if I want to put that in. Why is this so unhappy then? Food massively. Okay, so we could actually just put two food places in. I can't put two food places in? That is utter rubbish. Um, I guess, yeah, I will then go with the public order place here. Very well then. Uh, we've still got two grand. I guess I could spend it on men, but they're just going to start dying of disease. Um, I might move into this region here, Al Juaf, temporarily. This place doesn't have disease at all. You could have wheat fields or camel herd. Let's see. Let's go with let's go with a camel herd. Let's build camel herd. This will certainly help the public order here. This place is slowly growing as well. There we go. So this place isn't. They're no longer in a disease-ridden place. And they can't reach me there. So that's good. Okay, I'm going to end the turn. I'm going to risk and see what happens here. Hopefully Trebizon doesn't attack me. If it does, we've got to get a garrison, another army, and two armies. One is just basically just two units, but we'll have to see what we can do. The Holy Roman Empire is also throwing its weight around and trying to take Alexandria. I'm not actually sure what it's trying to do. I don't know if they're at war with the Eubids anymore. If they are, they could quite easily just take Alexandria. There's no one defending it. And they have a full stack here. Yeah, Trebizond pulls back. That's fine with me. We've managed to survive one more turn of uh, them not attacking us. I will, would like to take Aleppo. I really would. Alyssa, here they come with a, their stacks. Okay. Here they come with their stacks. I might have to fall back. Yeah, oh my gosh. Look at their cavalry armies. And these are all horse archers. Holy crap. Um, that's their other army. This is their garrison. I'm going to fall back and I'm going to see what we can do. Okay, so we've fallen back. I might have to just regroup in our own territory, see if we can lure one of the armies back to uh, do its own thing. Uh, no, I don't want to go to war with the Zagwe Kingdom, thank you very much. Krasmarine Pretenders, no, I do not want trade. We need to really actually be taking you out as well at some point. Hostile Encounter. Antioch and defend, uh, Pretend is gone. Uh, Scourge of Christianity is still starving. Uh, which is annoying. And yeah, okay. So this has all been done. <coughs> oh, I do apologize. Just random sneezes appearing. But um, anyway, let's move on. Uh, General, you are... I don't think you are of my dynasty. I actually don't know. Yusuf. Oh, no, you are. Yusuf is of my dynasty. Um, so I will give you that. And I'm also going to give you integrity, I think. And I don't actually know if I want to give you that. Cunning does bring the upkeep cost of your army down, but I'm actually wanting to go through that one. So Swords of Islam, done. This army, Pride of Islam, also slowly getting there. Um, going to recruit... We could recruit these Ghulam horse archers, but they are very expensive. Someone did suggest building them, um, but A, they take so much time to build, and they're also really expensive. I would like Ghulam foot guards, though. The infantry, I think, is going to be huge. This army doesn't have cav either. Um, I could build Ghulam lancers, and I'd rather build them, because we need cavalry in these armies. So I'm going to build cavalry. How many could we build? I'd like to just build three... And then I'm also going to put some more archers into this army. So we'll do that. We'll put another unit of archers in there. Now we need to deal with the problem over here. This 
is the army I'm kind of scared of because there's so many horse archers and horse archers are a pain to get through. So I'm going to fall back to into Merv and I'm going to see whether we can do anything. I would happily take these two armies on without the garrison because that garrison is huge. So I'm quite happy to do that. Um, food, still minus 40. We can sort that out instantly with finding the goat herd. Certainly will help with food. Possibly even camel herd. But I'm going to go... I'm gonna, I am actually going to go camel herd. Camel herding all the way. And we'll see what we can do from there. I just need this army to stop dying of starvation, of disease. And then we can uh, get a move on. Baghdad is still a big issue for disease, clearly, but I don't really have a way of stopping it. Unless I replace one of these things, but I'm not really wanting to. They're all very useful to my aim economy. I could get rid of the footwall house. Um, might be a idea. Yeah, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to get rid of the footwall house. And I'm going to put in... I mean, sanitation here apparently is a great. Current sanitation... Current squad, yeah, so it's actually in the bonuses, so I don't actually need to change that. Oh, and Baghdad's actually clear of disease, I didn't even realise that. So it's got to disappear at some point, I imagine. And we can then start replenishing. How can I see um, you can't really do anything. I don't have any armies over here. I could start recruiting more troops here. These are pretty rubbish, so I don't want to do that at all. I could actually fall back into Baghdad and re recruit better stuff. I'm going to risk it. Risk Baghdad getting the disease again. No, there's nothing there of any use. Um, Erbil does have better stuff. We fight for you, my lord. But I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to keep the army in Al Juaf and risk it there. Um, Al Juaf doesn't have the disease either. Okay, we're good there. Avaz still does, but that's something I can't really deal with. And Ray is slowly sorting itself out as well. Madden is neutral, which is fine. I'm going to end the turn and we're going to see what happens. Kind of just... This could be just a rebuilding one because we've had a pretty rough time with disease, civil war, and we had a few pushbacks in the north. So it could be a little bit of a delay in this uh, episode. But we'll see whether we can get a battle. I'd like to fight the Mongols and actually fight on uh, terms that I would quite happily agree to. Holy Roman Empire is uh, still doing stuff. Mecca might be going to fight the Holy Roman Empire. They brought another stack across. What is the Holy Roman Empire doing? Madness. I, I'm kind of all for it. I'd like to see the Holy Roman Empire fight some of these armies that we've got here. And I'd like to fight some Western European uh, factions. But are they actually going to take any land? Oh, here comes Trebizond. It's got another stack it's going to bring. Oh, it has. It's got another tiny little stack. Um, see, I'd f quite happily fight this army if I had a full, if this army is full and healthy, but it's not. I'm also just still quite surprised that Trebizond can reach all this way. Ah, they're going to bring some sort of spy to come and try and kill me. Oh, he's missed. Excellent. Well, what, one thing we need to do is make peace with some of these factions. Trebizond might be one of them. Um, if not Trebizond, then certainly uh, Silesia. And here comes the Ullus of uh, Toluli. Well, basically with the Mongols, one of the Mongol factions. Um, they're just coming to murder me. I think he missed. Or he was successful. I'm not quite sure. It just seemed to... The animation seemed to go really quickly. Peace treaty with the Ubids. Um I thought I was at peace with these guys. May see him and leave. But yeah, I'll make peace with them. Uh, I don't really need them just on my on my list of people to kill. Um, yep, so clearly we did not survive one of them. Okay, they came dangerously close to murdering one of my guys. They're still starving here. This is the main issue I've now got. And these guys can reach anywhere, so they could reach Baghdad if they wanted to. I don't want them to, so I'm going to fall back to Baghdad. Risk the game reinfected. Um, I'm going to have to, I guess, cunning. I could do. Well, let's do preach intolerance and then discourage population for now. We've 
Found the Zagwe Kingdom. I think they're just like, yeah, they're also Eastern Christianity. That they won't like me. You have my attention. They're at war with. Oh, oh man. Okay. Um, Trebizond, would you make peace? I doubt they will. Oh, they will. Might. They might for a price. I kind of would like to make peace with them. Offer. Let's offer that amount. Or offer that amount. Okay. Peace will offer a little bit more. Don't like doing this usually. Um, but I, I kind of just want to make sure they're uh, out of the picture. There we go. 2700. Now I could attack Aleppo. Without having to worry about these guys. And I could actually move this army out. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move back to here. Because I know that these guys are safe. That's a kind of wasted a turn just doing that. But turn of movement but I'm well, willing to risk it you have to make sure everything's covered first treadmill power cranes yeah sure why not so yeah this guy didn't make it out uh, yeah yeah we've got Hussam could I recruit a guy of my own I could we haven't actually got an assassin um Let's do that guy. Saud, whatever his name is. Fall back to Merv. And make sure it's protected. And then we'll move out again as soon as Saud has dealt with this guy. And also we just can see what's going on in Gorgon. I could just take out Nishapur while we're here. Heret looks great. Really liking that that's uh, stable. Yads is not so stable. Neither's Kerman. Really need these two places to grow. I mean, Yads is still start a dying of disease apparently. Avaz is not. Basra's minus one. I'm not quite sure why. Um, but hey, we'll deal with that. Kufa's looking okay. Um, okay. I guess spend money on. I've got some space over here in these two armies, haven't I? Oh no, these are full stacks. You, I do have some horse archers of my, my own. Lord. Not many though. Um, okay, okay. Can I build more armies? No, I can't build more armies. That's a shame. That is a shame. I've not really got anything I want to spend the money on. I guess Mosul could have a better um, sanitation. That's all I really want. I'm going to end the turn and we'll see what happens. Our economy is looking really good again. Which is good, but that's kind of the only thing we've got going for us at the moment. Everything else is... We're on the bit of the defensive at the moment, but the Mongols can't really attack us. We are far too well defended, but it um, just depends whether we can take them out. And the HRE looks like it's pulled back a stack somewhere. I'm not sure. They might have uh, assassinated Mecha's general as well. I forgot I'm at war with the Latin Empire, but I mean, they're not really an issue. Luckily, Trebizond's out of the picture, so we can now deal with them another time, and we can deal with Antioch straight away. Uh, Drusum, no, if you're offering peace, it must mean you're pretty weak. Antioch has a very small army, like the tiniest of armies. This guy is going to come and try and murder someone. I guess he knows just which family, to, uh, which guy also to try and get. Yep, he got him again. God's sake. I need to murder this man as quickly as possible. He's level 4 now. Jeez. Krasmarina uh, pretenders really want trade, but I'm not going to give it to them. Um, there he is, Garzi. Yeah, you just take over. Oh, wow, he actually got murdered. Wow. Was he one of my uh, people of... I don't know whether he was... No, he might have just been some random guy. We've got plenty of uh, people of age that need marrying off, so I guess we could do that. Um, can we marry these people off? Welcome. Yeah, mar arrange some marriages off a daughter. I, in my Lord's um, will give you a fair there we go. Oh, you can still want more? Still want more? More money I'll give you. Or oh, demand from you. There we go. Um, the Salgrids, can you give Welcome. me anything? Welcome. No. Gurids? My master extend no Mecca. Yes, we can arrange marriage. I demand your wife. 
or your daughter. Uh, that's probably yeah. That's probably a bit too much to ask from Mecca. Five thousand I could get, maybe six thousand. I'll take your five thousand off you then. Five thousand three hundred. There we go. And then let's get some more marriages going here. Ubids, have you got anyone? No, the Seljuks. And that's kind of all that there is left of the... Actually, no, there's a few more Muslim factions left. We are running out of Muslim factions, though, aren't we? There is not many of you left. Not many of you at all. Uh, I could do some trade with you, but I, I honestly don't really want to. Um, you don't like me. You also don't like me. You're at war with a lot of people. These guys are still dying of disease as well, which is still an issue. Aleppo. His garrison's getting back to normal. It's annoying. Um, I guess you can move into Aleppo and start sieging it out, but I mean, it's not like you're going to get very far with it. Um, start doing that. You can move up here and start supporting but I mean I don't think you're gonna do much brave companions they doing their thing Baghdad could you build stuff you could I don't know if I really want you to build anything Grand Mosque get you to build a pleasure house that would increase squalor I'm not really wanting that um, no I'm okay actually with that you can stay doing what you're doing um, Imam you can Persuade and actually put you down for two persuasion. Get you doing that. Um, Futwa Jund could get you to recruit them. Would damage your food consumption, which is not looking great. Could get you to have a better provincial capital, which means that you'll need a camel train. A vase has grown, so you need a uh, sanitation place because I know you're in a terrible place with sanitation. Um, anything else? Yeah, just that. Okay. Epirus and Ake have had peace. Good for them. Anyone over here able to do stuff? Ah, yes, of course. We need these agents to actually try and get him. Positive outcome 38. I'm willing to risk it to see whether we can get this guy. Okay, he's failed. And that's frustrating. Um, oh, we don't have enough money for the small mosque, eh? Not enough money for a small mosque. Krasmarian pretenders. You got any marriage? No. There's no one else I really want to do deals with then. Yeah, because no one else will do marriage. I guess I could try and get off you. I don't know who's there. Well, it could be one of the other... Actually, no. If these guys are the guys that are in Spain, aren't they? Uh, that's a shame. So they've been pushed out of Spain. That's annoying. So there we go. We have enough now for a mosque. Build, build me a mosque. The greatest mosque of all time. Ready for um, so, that, yeah, my leader's back in charge over here. I could try and go for that. How far can you move? Not very far, actually. Ready for How far was it? Sorry. Uh, it was there. So, if I move you to about there, Ready for that'll be fine. And then you move also to about here. We abandoned Merv in doing so, but I also don't know how my generals have constantly sniped. Gorgon's now undefended again. Um, I could possibly attack around this side, see whether these armies can reach. I don't know. I can also then send my spy up to go and have a look. I could have just done that instead of actually having him try to assassinate him, I guess. You're nearly ready. You nearly recruited all your troops. That's fine. Could you recruit just some rubbish? Yeah, you just recruit those archers then for a turn. Murad, you need stuff doing. Um, you're a governor. Let's have you do tax then. And then let's also have you do... Uh, authority to see public order goes up. A deal. You're doing stuff. Um, I'd like you to... I mean, there's nothing here that's massive that I really want. So, actually, just no. Um, let's put in... Let's put in authority. Let's put in... That authority and then wealth that could help and then Jafar you're doing just about nothing as well let's put in actually then there's nothing there I want you just have thinker and uh, that there we go 
So that's neutral neutralizing Basra's minuses. And there we go. Okay, so we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. Oh dear, it's been a it's been a slightly stressful one. I'm just running out of options I'm thinking on what to do. I need the army to just stop doing its disease and then we can start actually expanding again. All I need and want. <laughs> it's all I'd all the Pope wants right now. Okay, so that's where all of the Ubid armies are. They're all in the west of their empire, and they're just standing there having a standoff with the Holy Roman Empire, which I presume they're still at war with. I need to have a look, actually, see whether they are. Um, Trebizond, yep, yeah, doing nothing. Antioch, if they go past Antioch, uh, we'll see. Whether, yeah, I thought they were sending a small army here. Um, this, I have a chance of winning, but I don't want to risk it. I presume they'll attack. They didn't attack my other army. Okay, so my other army just stands there. So that's interesting enough. Um, I don't know what's what goes on in those goddamn mines. The AI just like, yeah, we'll leave one army just to stick around, see what happens. So I could actually attack Antioch's army, but army in Mosul with the support of the beaten up army. Did they try and murder someone again. I think they did, didn't they? Hostile or uh, agent? Yeah, they so they murdered my assassin. How rude of them! At your command, we fight I can't see fight. very much what's going on, but I'm going to move round this way. I'm going to try and attack Gorgon from the south, or like the eastern side. See if we can avoid. We uh, apparently, we can't. That's really rude. See, we'll try it again. Try one more time. Try and break through. If not, I'll just uh, have to accept that it's not going to happen. At least the agent can't reach. I should have just not left my agent to go back and die. <laughs> A bit scummy of me. Um, okay, you can do stuff. Uh, I guess let's give you morale and a hostile agent chance. You can have zeal as well. That'll help. So you have seven. Ah, finally, it's lost its goddamn disease. So we can actually start recruiting in. Felt like forever. Um, I'm going to put a better sanitation place in Mosul. Save that army from dying of disease. Um, that's a fairly strong army. But I think I could beat it if I put this army into, into garrison. Way is blocked. Advance. No, okay, so I need to attack On the move, my with lord. one army or the other. Do they all link each other up? I don't know if they do. We fight for you, my lord. Let them cower before our mind. Okay, so they are actually all besieging each other and doing stuff, right? That's fine. Besieging you do that. We cannot can, do you, that. can you move there, please? At once. And you also move there. The move, there we go. Right, so we're going to try that again. Attempt two on trying to take Aleppo. Feels like actually, no, it's attempt three. Jeez, it's taken us far too long to do that. Um, to just take that. Anyway, Kufa's expanded as well. So Kufa's expanded, so we can probably build something here that's going to help. Either with food or with... Could just do economy. Could just do economy. We could put in this to help public order... Blacksmith. Blacksmith just helps with like experience for units, but I'm not really recruiting many units here. Muster grounds. I could build a ballista or catapult. That could be useful, but again, not really what I'm going to do. Grazing grounds, no. Could just do economy. But Kufa's actually oh no, Kufa does have a sanitation place. What's our sanitation like here? Excuse me. Oh yeah, it's looking great. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put in, put in an economy thing. There we go. That can help with that. It can boost our economy. Looking amazing then for the future. Amazing. And let's buy ourselves another assassin, which I'm gonna put in here at F, unless he can reach. 
Oh, he can reach her out. That's excellent as well. Um, let's put him here then, I guess. No. Where am I not built? A goddamn. Oh, I can put one here. Here we go. I guess him, legend, uh, or a watchman. Eh, let's go a watchman. I'll put him there and I can just send him up through here all the way to Gorgon in no time at all. End the turn. Okay, we have... Oh, we went in the siege with no equipment. A beginner's mistake. There you go. Have some siege towers. Uh, and then end your turn. Abdullah... You've actually got... You're a governor, so why would I care about that? You just do that, and then you can also do... Thinker. There we go. End the turn for one final time to see what is uh, what we can do, basically. So, yeah, I do apologise that we've not really had a battle. We may have one here with Antioch in a moment, but I think it's unlikely. Because, well, I don't think they'll attack this huge army that we've got coming towards them. And I don't know, we might have one uh, with the Mongols in the north if we can lure them out, but I think they're just going to come with a huge stack of cavalry again and I'm going to have to fall back. But it looks like the Latin Empire is uh, making offensives on Nicaea. And Silesia is still doing things. But the Seljuks are just about holding on. I don't know where their armies are. They got arm. They've got uh, all their cities still. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, we do have a battle on our hands. Um, so this is fairly balanced. I think I could win this. So I'm going to fight this battle on the uh, battlefield, obviously, and I will see you guys in a moment to see who will win between the Mongols and the Abbasids. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield and, well, you can see how we're set up. We've got cavalry on the flanks, archers out front, spears behind with our swords uh, as well. And we've got our general protecting the Nafatoons currently. So, I think the aim is probably to uh, just focus on their cavalry, kill their cavalry, then overwhelm their archers with my own cavalry. And, that, and then obviously kill their uh, infantry, what minimal infantry they brought anyway. They've only brought like two, three units of Persian foot soldiers and uh, Subutai, which is a uh, their general and he's a spear unit. So we should be okay. If we take out a Mongolian heavy lancer, is going to be the real problem. I'm just going to focus them down when they come into, uh, come into range. We've got a Ghulam heavy... Uh, Archers as well, they will do their damage. Just hear their cavalry coming, that's okay. Let's kill their cavalry off pretty quick. Let's send some spears out to go and support. I should send some more spears out. I don't like the amount of... Uh... Okay, my archers just didn't refuse to uh, retreat. Oh, yeah, Gulen for, for archers can't, can they? Okay, well, that's not the end of the world, because that actually allows my infantry to uh, get up here and support. Could you win in a fight? Your medium bow infantry? I don't know. Don't know if you could. We'll find out. We will find out, indeed. Oh, no. Uh, Ghulam, Ghulam archers just carry on like that. Um, shoot onto their flanks. And send more spears. Actually, no, send spears here. Spears needed. Lots of spears needed. Are you guys going to retreat or not? I'm pretty sure I put you guys in skirmish mode, but hey, okay. Just maybe not. Just do your own thing, you know. As you do. Carry on. Uh, actually, yeah, those horse archers will break those uh, archers back there, so that's good. Medium bows will uh, get squashed by them. That's good to see. Shot cavalry, good. Spears, just carry on like you're, like you're doing, I guess, as you do. Archers, I mean, I guess, just don't protect yourself against the cavalry. You know, it's just cavalry. Uh, what could it do, really? But it looks like we're winning this fight quite nicely. We've got their general pinned um, in combat. And we'll just carry on as we as we are. As we are, boys. Carry on. 
archers. Um, shoot these guys back there, please. Oh, okay, and we've broken this unit here. I don't know what this was. Mongolian heavy lances. Oh, another good unit to be breaking. Uh, cavalry gone. Okay. Uh, archer, uh, sword. Sorry, just go in. Kill these guys. There you go. You're good. Good to go. Cavalry is doing really well, actually. Wow, we are doing a really good job actually killing these guys. Mongol cavalry is not as good as I thought it was. I was pretty scared of it, but uh, it's okay. Hopefully, this other army doesn't appear and just deal with us. Um, but yeah, this is the garrison army, so we want to definitely deal with this. Uh, stop shooting my Nafatoons, though. That's uh, against any Geneva sort of laws. Against any. Can you stop charging? Can you stop sh shooting my men? Stop shooting my men. Shoot your own. Um, and come over here and just deal with these guys, boys. Thank you very much. Swords go in there. Kill his turkey carches. Rally. There. Just boost your rallies, I guess. There you go. Charge the general. Get him. Where are you shooting? Go there, get them. Um, actually, chase them down. Save the cavalry. The cavalry's done a really good job, this shock cavalry. They've done excellent. Excellent job. Uh, just keep chasing these guys down, please. And if needs be, we can uh, just get the other Ghulam foot archers to start shooting people. Because they've got the armor. They can just win that fight. Uh, cavalry, just about holding, but it's going to need some support. Now, Fatoons come up, why not? This is why we need cavalry in these armies. God, they are just so useful. I mean, they're winning the fight there, though, so that's good. Men are breaking, though. Can you start shooting the right people? Shoot them. Start shooting these guys. Oh, that was a harrowing volley. I don't know, I actually know if it got anyone. That cavalry should get a uh, rally in time, but I don't know if it will. Uh, General, can you actually move up? I'd like you to actually help in this fight. Help in this fight. Um, come on, come on, come on. Nice, alright. They're all going into combat now. I don't know if they've just like decided it's just the game's up or what. Who knows. Right, yeah, we've got loads of these uh, archers caught now, though. Loads of them. Um, just charge. The cavalry's rallied. That's good. Um, I guess catch that other turkey archer unit. Um, the inf yeah, my uh, cavalry's still losing here. That is surprising. But it's uh, going to get support now. Got some infantry going in. Nafatoons, I guess, are here to save the day. Maybe I don't know. It's not. They're not needed. Um, and then I guess go into combat for you guys. The men are running, My men are running. Oh, the cavalry again. Just charge them. Come on, man. Charge these men. And there we go. They're all breaking now. Uh, spears over there. They're going to catch them. Excellent. Yep. Kill them. And that's the battle, I'd say. That is going to be it. The Mongols are Devine defeated. This will be another city, hopefully, that will fall to me. Um, I'm just going to kill as many of them as possible, I guess, because their uh, garrison is kind of key. But it's also kind of not. Um, and, yeah, let's just first catch this army. Or catch this unit, sorry. Um, and then that'll do. Catch this one unit, it's like 118. It's kind of the only full strength unit we need to worry about. Uh, horse archers, can you stop firing at will? I'm, I don't really appreciate it. I mean, it's probably doing a lot of damage to my own men. Cavalry, just catch them all. Uh, oh, we did actually lose one cavalry unit. Damn. Apart from that, we did okay, actually, though. We've mowed down a lot of these units. Persian foot archers, hurry up, die. Uh, let's just fast forward this for the sake of it, because I'm pretty sure we're over the half hour mark already so well very much over the half hour mark so if we can just wrap this up and uh, you die nice and quickly then that'll be nice oh there's 30 of them left uh, that'll do decisive victory 
Excellent. Only lost 400 men. There you go. That's uh, definitely going to do a lot of damage. Those horse archers, 306 kills. That is very good. And 213 for the shot cavalry. Did excellent as well. They did, did have some hard fights, to be fair. They had to. So no surprise they didn't get as many kills. They dealt with a lot of the Mongolian cavalry. Which is very good of them. Um, so yes, hopefully the um, Mongols don't now arrive with their relief force. I would appreciate if they didn't. Uh, no, but they're going to send their agent. No, nope, they are actually going to let me take the city. Wow. Okay, so I might just take Gorgon before we end this episode. Uh, just so you guys have, can see some sort of expansion that's happened. Um, because we're going to have a otherwise have very little. Uh, Aleppo might also fall. They offer, offer three grand and they demand my daughter. Yeah, sure. There we go. Erbil's going to rebel. Erbil, apparently, he's going to rebel. That is surprising. Um, anything I can do about that? Not massive stuff. I could put in a better palace, I guess. That would help. It's going to take too long. Um, I guess I can sort that out in a moment. I can summon one of the armies back from Aleppo. We will just kill this army off quickly. Execution. Yes. Very nice. Occupy. We don't want to sack it. Don't want to cause more issues than we already have. Uh, we'll send Gorgon around here. Oh. And I don't have the money to rebuild anything. How dare they? Did they take all my money just to demand that wife from me? I don't know. Um... Please Arrange a marriage. I demand you for someone. Now, there we go. Moderate. Yeah, there we go. Now I can rebuild everything here. That's good. That's what we want. That's all we need. And then what's the religion like here? Um, religion. It's going up. That's good. Um, and then I'm going to put in then probably a sanitation just to keep this place happy. Ready for battle. And then... Hugh Yaya can have hostile agent chance, that and that. As you know, you're not a governor, so just take that and that. There we go. Um, I'll take quickly, try and take Aleppo. I don't know if we will be able to take Aleppo. Oh yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, we'll take this off them then. Just take that with an auto-resolve. I'm not really wanting to fight another big battle today. We will occupy, force them back. Aleppo has really converted to uh, Christianity quite well. I'm going to knock all this down. I don't really want uh, Christian stuff here. So there we go. Anyway, guys, uh, that is where we're going to have to wrap up this episode. It's gone on far too long anyway. We have slowly expanded our borders, taking Aleppo and Gorgon in the north from the Mongols. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let's try and keep up the uh, growth. Try and get to 1,400 now. And uh, leave a comment if you've got any advice or just enjoying the series. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys 